Alright guys, this is the heat shield from ATI. Same packaging, that beautiful packaging they have now. And this is called the Halo Heat Shield. Now, the only thing is, with my particular Mossberg 590, because it's the special purpose model, because of the extended magazine tube, this really isn't designed, this particular one here, isn't de designed to go on there. So this is going to be like a project video. I'm going. This is going to be a modification video because this is too nice not to put on there. So I'm going to try to make it work. But if you have a regular 590, that's just a, you know the typical kind, or I, th I think even the 500, this will go right on, no problem. But it's because of the special purpose model is why I'm having an issue. But there it is, that beautiful packaging they have. And it comes in like this. Here's the directions. The directions are fantastic. Very, very easy to see and follow. The Picatinny rails you get are steel. They're not plastic, which are nice. Or they're, they're, they're aluminum. Okay, they're, they're metal. Okay, and here's the shield, the heat shield. It's a flat, matte, black finish, which is my favorite. And my gun's kind of a black gloss, so it looks good up against it. All right, first thing I'm going to do is put the, put the sights on this... Uh, dust dust cover this heat shield and it's it's a little you know it's not hard but sometimes you have to push things in holes and stuff and you don't have real strong hands or if you go for it it's like man it's a bitch so right now I'm putting it's actually putting real sights on this thing these are aluminum you got to push this triangle getting framed dude you got to push this triangle through this hole there's a plate and you push your finger on the plate and then the triangle pops through this hole when the triangle pops through the hole there's a triangle cut out under here and you put it you just fit it on top of it like a puzzle screw that on for it to get tight here because now before I get make it real tight I'm gonna look at it and make sure it's straight. Alright before I go tight I'm gonna flip it back over and make sure everything's straight. Okay that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go tight. Hear that TV? My neighbor's TV. Believe it? How loud that is? That's why I want to move out of here, man. Tell you guys can't hear that. Listen to what he's listening to. Fucking Dennis the Menace. This is what I live with. Okay. Don't want to over tighten. See how they are in there. Now in the instructions it says there's two Allen screws, but they're not. These are Phillips. And here's your sight picture. Got a ghost ring sight with a front. Beautiful sight. Okay, now that's that's what I'm going to do as far as this goes. Um, now I have to, I'm going to have to, I don't know, um, find a way to fasten this on the shotgun to where it will function, not get loose. The heat shield on. They give you this plastic clamp, clamp, and then they give you this piece of tape, this foam tape, and you got to put you got to put the foam tape on the inside of the clamp. And work it around. It's not too bad. Okay, it's not lined up. We'll pull it off again. Make sure you're all lined up. There we go. Now it's lined up nice. Like that. Then, you just clamp it on the barrel. Just spread it apart, and, and that foam will keep it from sliding around, believe it or not. It's like grippy foam. Try to center it the best you can. Now normally, now the shield will just snap on. This is how you would put it on. Sorry, I wish I had the camera on while I was doing that, but you just got to push real hard side to side, and, and then it, it clicks on to that. Okay, and it feels pretty secure. Okay, now that's, 
Then you can move it. Uh, what I would do is line your sight up with this top, with these top screws. That's the top center of the receiver. Make sure she's nice and center, which pretty much is. Now the only thing is, I have to find a way. This is where I have to modify. I have to find a way to fasten this. Now because of this heat shield that it is getting modified because it's not quite right for this gun. Here's what you could do. Now what I did was, you see that plastic piece on, up to your uh, right hand corner? That came off the old heat shield. And it happens to work out, swear to God, happens to work out perfectly. <laughs> Got real lucky. I was going to go to Home Depot and buy a plastic something and have to cut it out and shape it. This is from the old heat shield. And what it is, is this is a stopper. It's a spacer. Because when the heat shield where it lands if it ain't if it ain't up far enough the recoil even though this is squeezing very tight which I don't think it'll move but it could maybe if you're shooting slugs the whole heat shield from recoil might be able to move start nudging up forward so this is a stopper so we're going to use it for the same thing but what I'm going to do is um since I have these squeezers in here I don't know what the hell to call them this happens to work out perfect because it's shaped like a bottle. So what I'm going to do is put it in the drill press. See these eighth inch holes? These are one eighth inch holes, but of course they're not where I need them to be. So I flipped it around and I got my punch and I made a hole, a punch right there. This is going to go inside here like this. Okay, and now I got my stopper right up against that ring. So no matter how much recoil there is, this will not slide up. And what I did was I put it in and held it and got a punch, put it through this hole. I took this screw out because that screw, where the hell is it, asshole? Long screw is going to go through everything and then fasten to the other side. And then that's what will hold this in nice and tight. And I think it's going to work. So that's what you're going to have to do if you have a Mossberg 590 uh, special purpose. It's not a big deal. Alright, so let's uh, take this out. I made my mark. I got my one eighth, one eighth drill bit. It's one eighth and fits in there perfect. And this screw goes in, but it's kind of tight. But that's how I want it. I want to have to. I want to have to do this. I want to have to force it in there because I don't want no play. I want that shit tight. The hardest thing, if you don't have a uh, a drill press, you're gonna have a hard time drilling. An eighth inch hole through a narrow spot like that without a drill press everything has to be held perfectly straight and square and you have to drill slow so if you don't have a drill press I don't know how you're gonna do it okay but I have one you should get one you can get you can get a real nice one at Harbor Freight not even kidding you for forty dollars that's all mine was it works awesome all right let's get set up over there well, I got my eighth inch drill bit in here the only thing with this <clears throat> with this drill press is it's only one speed you can change the speed by opening the top and putting the belts on different pulleys but uh, I'm not doing all that so but it is a really good drill press for $40 and if you get a drill press you need a drill vise too this thing here you gotta have one of these um, I just used a C-clamp. I made a uh, punch mark so the, so the drill bit doesn't walk on me as I'm trying to cut through because it will do that. And let's see what happens. Make sure everything's nice and tight and secure. Alright. Alright, check my... Make sure I'm hitting my dead divot. Okay, it looks pretty good. think we're through please be through well um, before I take it out I want to make sure I'm through yeah we're good 
Okay, let's get it over to the uh, shotgun and put this bad boy in. What's up? What's up? Okay, let's see if this guinea knows what the hell he's doing. Alright. There's my hole. My new hole. Right there. And there's enough meat on there all around the hole. Man, just enough. And uh, let's see how this works out. Let's get some thread lock on this. This is important. So let's put a drop on here. It's the blue stuff. And we're going to put this in. Now before I put this in, I'm going to see what side lines up better. Alright. Let me end my super duper duper flashlight. Just take the fucking air. Oh man, that looks pretty sweet. It's about time I got good at lining up holes. Okay, now, hopefully, so I don't like using this because it's, I'd rather use a screwdriver just to get it started. I can't feel with this thing. Hold on. Okay, a guy sent this to me, this beautiful tool. I got a whole cylinder full of uh, Allen keys, and it works just like a gun. You cock it, find the right size, and doesn't eat. And this is what it's made by, if you guys, it's called the Bit Shooter. And uh, the bits are very accurate. You know what I mean? They're, they're very true. Usually, you gotta watch sometimes. Alright, and it's hopefully we find the threads. Oh, yeah, it's finding it good. Okay, and we, got, we don't have to go. I mean, I went pretty tight, but I don't wanna break the bit because I already did that. And we don't want to. We don't have to go uh, nuclear tight because I just put a shitload of thread lock on there too. Now that helps. All right. Now we are completely secure, man. This heat shield is not going anywhere. I got a stopper plate in the front. I got these squeezing this way against the barrel, and uh, everything's good. And there's holes there. If you want to add something else, I could use that. And then it, and it's just weird how things work out for you sometimes. And that's it. That's the end of this video. I just wanted to get that, that heat shield. Uh, I wasn't feeling real good about it because I didn't want to work on just a little bit of pressure, just holding it for recoil. Now I can shoot probably slugs, uh, triple lock buck, whatever I want. That heat shield is not going forward. All right, guys. That's the end of the shotgun series for now. And, you know, I, I, I didn't video um, putting these rails on, but I, for, I just forgot to. Just remember, you can put rails on here. These rails are metal. They're aluminum or whatever. And what they do is they're dovetailed, and they slide right on here. And you can put stuff all around this thing. Um, me, personally, um, I don't know if I'll put it. I mean, I don't like putting stuff on something that moves. You know what I'm saying? But that's me. I don't know what I'm going to put on here. Uh, this maybe it's just something I'm not used to. Uh, I, I don't know, but I think I like the way it looks. Could put a little laser on there. Like I said, uh, there's no such thing as, as overdoing it. This is this is a shotgun that's called, it's going to be overdone. That's what it's for. Picatinny rails up the ass wipe. You know what I mean? There's just shit everywhere. That's the way we like it. The only thing left now, we, I think we got to get some kind of badass sling for it. Other than that, it's done.